In November 1916, the Entente had managed to capture Monastir, but it was impossible for them to lose the city because it was within range of the Bulgarian artillery in the Palestra mountain range to the west and the hill of 1248 to the north of the city, or hill 1248 or 1248. The Allied commander-in-chief, Monroe Sorhan, made plans for a large spring offensive in 1917. Besides attacking Chevrabin and Doran, he also planned to attack the north and the west of Monastir to give the city, which had always been on the fire for most of the war so far, a wider breathing space. So for this attack, Sonra deployed the 6th Infantry Divisions of the French 57th, the 11th Colonial, the 16th Colonial, the 76th and the 156th Infantry Division or divisions, right? So Sonra's, Sonra's, plan was, Sonra's plan was to attack the German and the Bulgarian lines between the Lake of Orlid and Peshapa and also to launch a frontal attack north from Monastir against Hill 1248 or 1248. So on the 11th of March, the operations began between the two lakes with an intense bombardment and the attack of the 76th French Division against the Shivrashnina, west of Monastir, where they captured some strong entrenchments around the villages of Duhovo, Turinova, which is Turinovo now, Turinovo, and Sigunovra. But the resistance from the central Paris forces proved to be more vigorous than expected, and together with the extremely bad weather, this caused the attack to pretty much fumble on its head. So the, the French attack of Hill 1248, which was to have been delivered at the same time as the frontal assault, did not commence until the 14th. On the 18th, after four days of intense engagements, the French captured the whole hill of 1248, as well as the frontier villages of Kriklilo, which is also called Kriklila, Kriklina, Kriklilo, and Kriklina, etc., depending on who lives there. Right? Taking 1,200 prisoners, but the central Paris succeeded in a counterattack in recapturing parts of the hill 1248, whose summit was then abandoned and remains abandoned by both sides as a no man's land, like Hartsman Willinko. Monaster was somewhat relieved, but the town continued to remain on the fire until the armistice, when more than half of it was destroyed by 20,700 shells dropped on the town proper between 1915 and 1918, with some 500 inhabitants being killed and 650 being injured. The Shevrashnina was also retaken by the Bulgarians on the 18th of May. The French defeat meant that the whole spring offensive of 1917 left the Allies with no results at all, especially in the Balkans. For the Bulgarians, this victory was a great boost to morale and there was even some comparisons made between the historic victory in the Battle of Skip Kapas against the Turks in 1877 and of course the birth of Bulgaria. It was only 15 months later that the Allies had succeeded in breaking through the Bulgarian-German defenses in the Battle of Dobrapole in September 1918. This forced the capitulation of Bulgaria thus decisively turning the strategic and even the operational balance of the war against the central powers. So anyway guys, I do believe that was the better one. I do believe that I kind of I, I, I kind of was going good and then I had to yawn and then that kind of destroyed the whole momentum. But still, I do believe this was still a pretty good good take. Anyway guys, I'm going to edit now. I'm gonna run up and down. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope, hope you had a good time. Hope it was a good learning experience for you. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And I will see you next time on the channel, right? <clears throat> of course, I will redo that just in case. But anyway, guys, enjoy. Hope you learned something. See you next time.